Hey there. Um, I have had some folks, just a moment, I'll explain to you about the hair in a second. I've had some folks ask me, um, here Marie Yates, how I get my hair in the heart shape thing. Um, there's a couple of different ways, uh, and this is going to be one such way. Uh, first of all, the supplies that you need are hairpins. You also need, you know, like your regular old bobby pins like that. You also need the wider spaced hairpins that are kind of like that for this one. Um, you're going to need, well, I use, this is a rat comb, rat tail comb for separating. And then if you can see there, the comb itself has a couple, a couple sets of larger tines and shorter tines, and you're going to use it to wrap your hair. Um, and then, of course, a big old bottle of hairspray. And of course, I'm Southern, so you can't have enough. You've got to have bigger. Okay, so you can see that one side is already done, and I'm going to try to imitate with the other side. Now, here's what I have done. I went just to a beauty supply store. You've got one near you. And I bought one of these hairstyles for Chignon. They have one that's a petite size that's smaller than this one. This one is about, I don't know, four inches across. It's, it's pretty big. Um, anyway, and I cut it in half on two sides, opposing sides, and I got a piece that looks like that. Looks like that right there. Okay. So, now, what I have done, you really want to work with dirty hair if you possibly can. I have an event this weekend. I washed my hair yesterday. I will not be washing my hair before the event tomorrow unless something really bad happens. Um, and so in order to make my hair dirty for this particular event, what I, or not event, but for this particular video, what I've done is I've basically sprayed some hairspray in my hair already. Um, it's not going to add a whole lot more. You know, I didn't really add it to add body yet. That's what I'm doing right now. So it'll have a chance to dry while I talk to you. Now, um, but I did add it to just dirty it up. So what you're going to do, you're going to rat it up just a little bit. Literally your back combing, coming back towards your head, back towards your head. All right. So now you can see it's all, it's a lot poofier than it was before and it's not neat and tidy. Then you take this and really simple, you just wrap it up and you go like this right now this piece is too big one of the things you can't see is because the light keeps getting about is that it's too big it's too big it's going to show through it'll show through up here but it'll also show through back here kind of on the side and I can tell that by feel so what I want to do then is I want to take my scissors which were totally right here um, hmm. Oh, I'll put them back in here. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut off this much. I cut this much off of the first one. So we're going to cut that much off. And the good thing about using these as opposed to like the bump it things or whatever they are is that these are closer to your hair color. In addition, if you wanted to, I guess you could take it out and spray paint it. Uh, or whatever a color that you want it to. Um, but you don't have to finish the ends if you don't want to. If you want to, all you have to do is take a take a lighter and hold it near, not in, and just let it kind of melt, melt off, uh, melt the ends off. Okay, so I have it about the right size. I'll probably need to mess with it a bit. And I'm going to do like I just did. I'm just going to roll it up as though I were putting it on a on a sponge roller. Now, I'm going to redo that because I started it in the wrong place. Okay. Excuse my snuffling. It's a very allergy sort of day for me and I haven't had my allergy match yet. So, I got this mostly in place. Yes, that's not bad. All right. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it through such that I can pin it to my head forward kind of at an angle right so we see this let's see if I can increase the light 
I might not be able to, but you can see. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to narrow down one of these ends here. So from here, you start playing with your pins and your hairspray. Um, and you will, you want to keep your rat comb around because you will use some of that. So what I'm going to do is take this out and reset it because I don't like the way it's doing. Try to gather your hair. You're going to part your hair. My hair, my hair's, hair is very roughly parted, you can see. But you want to roughly part your hair. I used the right comb previously, but I think I'm going to need a little more for this one. Um, most of the time, your rat, the, the line that you're going to be ratting, uh, excuse me, the line that you're going to be parting so that you can get your hair ratted and get enough hair for the hairstyle is going to be approximately ear to ear. So you go from one ear across the top of your head to the front of it. Well, I've had some events in my life that have thinned my hair out for me. And so I have to play with it. Now, once I put my coif on, coif, put on my head gear, what often happens, no, this is moved down. Anyway, what often happens, is that I will have to adjust my coif fronts for the fact that, okay, that's not going anywhere, uh, for the fact that I've had to adjust that part line. So you may find that when you start making your coifs or wearing your coifs that you will need to adjust them for that reality. I know that I have. Um, so basically what happens is that coifs that should fit girls who would have a normal head of hair um, fit me. Yes, that's what it was. It just fell. Okay. And more pins will solve that problem. Um, anyway cloths that I designed for my children will fit me uh, because I have to part my hair so far back instead of where I would ideally do so. Um, for my eldest, she would have to have a, a grown-up cloth because she's got all of this massive hair. Okay, so what you can see is that I've got this up now. And what I'm going to do, number one, spray the snot out of it front and back. It might be a necessary evil, but it's a stinky evil. I don't like it much. Um, I would prefer to use a pump one, to use a pump bottle. I have found that they just don't work as well. Um, and so, okay, so what I'm doing now, this thing has been hairsprayed to hide the holy god. It's actually still a bit wet, so I'm going to take my rat comb and I'm going to use it as a smoothing. Give me a second. There we go. So that things are properly smoothed. Now I have a bit here on the very end that's trying to be recalcitrant and show the rat. So because this rat is basically rolled up netting, I can do that where I've pinned it in place. You can see here. And it shouldn't be visible now. Um, there we go. Use all the pins that you think you're ever going to need and then keep some on hand just in case. Because just like this one did in the course of talking to you guys, these can fall down. So 
I'm going to check this one again because it did fall down. Yes, it does need a bit of adjustment and it does need a couple more pins. So there is that. Okay. So now you can see that I have the heart shaped headdress going on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray this middle part, spray my part, which is it nice and even? Yes, it is nice and even. I'm not going for perfect evenness here, but then I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to go in the middle with two fingers like this, and I'm going to make sure that I have a nice part, a nice part going on there, right? And now what I'm going to do is just work with the back, and then I get the cloth on, or uh, perhaps my, uh, I'm having a bad hair day, hairstyle, or um, uh, hair item, <clears throat> which is a black veil, which can be either pinned in place. What I can do is fold this back some so that there is a white piece because this piece is actually um, black silk. It's just black silk dupe because I didn't have any black silk broadcloth on hand when I did this. Um, what I would do, just to, just to show you guys what I would do in order to keep that on my head, um, what I used to do when I had somewhat more hair was I would divide the, my back hair, I would make two braids to either side of my head. By the way, you want to make these, you want to start these fairly high on your head when you're doing this, especially if you have thinner hair or very short hair, because um, you start the higher you start your braid, the longer your ultimate braid will be. So I have two braids like this and I feed them toward each other, hook them around and send them back the way they came. Um, and then what I get, or if I'm feeling super lazy, I'll just throw a bun up like a real fast yet firm bun. It's thin, but it's long. All right. Oh. oh, we're trying to be, really, trying to be a butthead, so the solution is, of course, another pin, and more hairspray. Who's shocked? Nobody. Okay, so, and what I can do is take my pin, I have my, my handy dish of pins here, magnetize and stay in place, and I use this. This is just, uh, this is a longer veil, um, such as you might use for the base of a, uh, of, of a, of a French hood, that kind of thing. Just a real easy hairstyle. I don't have to mess with a coif. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure where my coif is right now, which is why I'm using this, because this was a hand. So what I've done is I've set this here. I didn't put my bun far enough back, far enough forward, excuse me. So I'm just going to move that real fast. All right. That's not ideal, but you'll get the idea. So basically, I made a bun practically right on top of my head. Um, some of you that's not going to work. Some of you can do the braid thing really, really successfully. This is a quick throw it up and make it work effort. So there we go. Placing it right behind my coif and now my pins are trying to stick out. All right, there's that. Now what I'll do, this is a big old long corsage pin, right? With the pearly end, nice and long, about two inches or so. And I'm going to pin through through my silk and right into my bun, back out again, and then I'm going to sink the end on the bottom. Now, if I want to, what I can also do is fold this forward, ladies and gentlemen. And then um, I would take 
really what I want to use for this is a silk pen. Ah, here's one. Um, is a silk pen. And again, you it it doesn't matter quite as much where you pin this into place. So here we go. And now you have a lovely period hairstyle. And I think I have this straight. Is this as straight? No, it's not as straight as it gets. Straighten this back out. There we go. And you can enjoy your day with your very period hairstyle. Right? Like this. And like this. And, um, and yeah. So there you go. Um, yet more hairstyle, yet more hairspray. And I'll be moderately perfect. Um, but this was my demo for how to teach you how to do a period hairstyle and, uh, and wear some period headgear on top of it. So you guys have a great one.